What's up travelers? In this video, it's our last day in Rome and we go over to Taverna de Pasquino to have some Tonarelli alla Grecia. But first, before we do that, we're gonna head over and do a quick little tour of St. Peter's Basilica. Immediately when you walk into St. Peter's Basilica to the right, you will find Michelangelo's statue of Pita, which depicts the Virgin Mary cradling the lifeless body of Jesus after he has been taken down off of the cross. On May 21st, 1972, a man called Laszlo Toth climbed over an altar rail in St. Peter's Basilica and attacked the statue with a geologist's hammer while screaming, I am Jesus Christ, risen from the dead. Fortunately, the damage was fixable, however, it has been behind bulletproof glass ever since. The main section and dome of St. Peter's Basilica was designed by Michelangelo and he oversaw the construction of it until the day he died.
This giant bronze sculpture which stands over the high altar of St. Peter is also standing over what is said to be the remains of St. Peter. It was sculpted by Gian Lorenzo Bernini and he used the bronze that was taken off of the Pantheon. This is likely the most holiest place in the Christian religion. Hello, my name is Varun, a really cool guy in a boat. You can be really cool guy like Varun if you subscribe to Tasting Travel right now. If you do not subscribe, I'll be ah ah. You're welcome. What's up travelers? I am at Taverno de Pasquino, which as a nice soft warm spot in my heart. I was here six and a half years ago when I came here the first time. They had people actually sitting at the table next to me making pasta by hand. I mean, they still make their pasta by hand, but not at the table next to you, and I think that has something to do with that damn virus that's running around. I'm so sick of that damn virus. So I just ordered some homemade spaghetti, they call it Conarelli uh, a la Grecia, and oh man, it's gonna be some fantastic food. Can't wait for it to get here. Wow, it's already here. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. And it's in a huge bowl, so it is here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's got a nice crispy piece of bacon on top. Some fresh cheese all sprinkled out into it on the top. Got some more ham here. 
And those beautiful noodles. <laughs> Let's dig in. That is so good. It's definitely not a pecorino cheese. I think it's some sort of a parmesan. But, oh man. With the smokiness of that bacon, it is unbelievable. It is next level. The noodles are perfectly cooked al dente. This is a special dish. I can't remember what I had the last time. It was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> that crispy bacon I just ate, that was a party. <laughs> The sauce is so creamy and rich that any bigger of a portion, I don't think I could get through it. I don't know if you can see how how thick that is. It is absolutely insane thick. Just the perfect amount of saltiness. I don't know if they could do anything better, honestly. This is the kind of food that makes you do the happy dance. <laughs> I'm not sure what they have for dessert, but we will be getting some. Now, if this video has been entertaining to you, if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Then go ahead and Hit that subscribe button, I hear it gives you 10 years of good luck. Check out this new hat and this new shirt. <laughs> Pretty awesome, man. This is the new merch. There's also some Will Travel for Coffee merch that I've also got up for grabs. If you haven't noticed yet, underneath the video is a little shelf that has merchandise there. If you're interested in helping me out, grab a hat, shirts, stickers, coffee cups, go ahead and go check it out. I would be really grateful. So this has my logo on it, but it doesn't have any branding other than that. So it doesn't have the name of the channel or anything like that on it. It's just this cool logo. If you're interested, I would really appreciate it if you were to go and pick one up or 10. <laughs>just got a classic tiramisu and it comes in the, the bottom part of an old Italian espresso maker. <laughs> Pretty cool man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man. You haven't lived until you've had tiramisu in Italy. This place is the rates right up there. The texture is so smooth and then you got a little bit of a cookie crunch that comes at the bottom of it. You got really light coffee flavor in the back and then you know that, that cocoa dusting. It's just it's a it's a great combination. When that coffee dust hits your the, the the back of your taste buds is just like boom and then the chocolate just mellows it out. It's great. Here's some of that cookie here. For the national dessert of Italy, as always. Eat great food.